<laughs> so today is Sunday, and it's February the 28th, the last day of the month, 2021. And uh, my name is Jonathan Jones. I'll be your host and moderator uh, for the afternoon. Alfreda Strong is uh, my co-host, and Alfreda will help with uh, moderating some things, even addressing some of your questions and uh, helping to uh, to kind of guide us along with additional questions questions as they come in. So we can look forward to uh, to Alfreda chiming in from time to time. We certainly appreciate uh, that and her help and support uh, with this. We will have a brief business meeting afterwards for those who are interested in talking about some of the business aspects of uh, helping others to, um, to benefit from nutritional supplements. Now, as far as our, our disclaimer is concerned, we, we need for everyone to always keep in mind that uh, this meeting, though we have it every Sunday at four o'clock, you're welcome to invite anyone uh, that you care about. We highly recommend it. We recommend that you post the invitation even on your social media. And once we get the recordings of the meetings, we, we encourage you to share it because there's, we have nothing to hide. And uh, we want as many people to, to hear about this information as possible. But the, the information on our meetings is for educational purposes only. Uh, the testimonials that you hear are purely anecdotal. You don't know the, the clinical circumstances around someone's uh, situation, but the people who are sharing their stories whenever they do, they're saying what they believe to be uh, true. They believe that uh, something had an impact on them. Maybe one of the supplements that was taken provided by, um, by Engage Global or otherwise, but, uh, but we don't know the clinical circumstances surrounding uh, the results that they've gotten. So results may be atypical. Just because it happened to someone else does not necessarily mean that it will happen uh, to you. So we just try to make that clear from the very beginning. We strongly recommend that you seek the competent medical advice of professionals that you trust. I am not a medical doctor, nor do I, I claim to be one. The products that we recommend, because they're all natural, only the government can declare something to be a treatment or cure for a disease. So we're not claiming any treatment or cure uh, for any of the uh, things that we recommend. But we do believe strongly that you can do something to make yourself feel better. Uh, it's no different than when um, a, a recommendation was given uh, in, in the Bible by the Apostle Paul to the young man, Timothy, to drink a little bit of wine for his stomach illness. A natural substance can have a huge, uh, huge medicinal benefits to an individual. And as members of the Healthcare Support Association, the United States government allows us uh, freedom of uh, open discussion. So we can have a discussion among ourselves and that's what we're doing uh, here today. So um, if you go to my YouTube channel and I hope that you've uh, had a chance to subscribe to it and, um, and promote it because it will benefit uh, all of us. Uh, to do so. But we've discussed uh, COVID-19 and the vaccines um, some at, to some length. Uh, the channel is youtube.com slash Jonathan Jones. youtube.com slash Jonathan Jones. And you'll see some COVID-19 uh, discussions there. The spelling is a little bit different. Uh, there's no O in COVID when I spell it. I use a zero instead. Uh, and that's not an accident. That's very deliberate. So just uh, in case you're doing a search on my channel for COVID, you won't find the word COVID. Uh, just remember to change the, uh, the O uh, to a zero if that's what you're searching for to see any of those uh, discussions. But there's a couple of things that I think we need to be aware of. And I'm going to try to see if I can uh, share a few things with you just because uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's that important that we take a minute to... Um, to determine, to just see some of the, some of the updates that are taking place. I'm, I'm hoping I can just share it here real quick. So, okay, yeah, there's one um, news report that I think it might be good to take a quick look at. It's only three minutes long. First up tonight, Tom Costello and the big push to get folks to roll up their sleeves. With a countdown to a third vaccine, now down to a matter of hours, an all-out urgent push to reach underserved communities. Vice President Harris at a pharmacy in southeast D.C. today. And you're also going out to community and administering vaccines there as well. While in Massachusetts... Initially, I was obviously, I was apprehensive. I mean, being an African-American, I was apprehensive. National Guard troops are on the COVID front lines. It makes so much sense for all of us 
to make sure that we're vaccinating people in places where the virus is most active. As the COVID-19 vaccines become available, you might be asking yourself, should I get it? Tonight, one of the biggest public education efforts in history is underway in collaboration with the CDC. The vaccines are safe and effective. They're going to save lives. Tomorrow, the FDA's outside advisory panel will review Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. Emergency authorization could come by the weekend with 4 million doses shipping almost immediately. While the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are somewhat more effective at preventing illness, the J&J shot is 100% effective at keeping people alive and out of the hospital. Okay, I want to just pause it right there. See if I can get that screen to uh, to just show for us. I paused it on the screen that I wanted, but then it just uh, kind of slipped away. Um, this is kind of what I wanted you to see because what what's happening in the news and in the media, and this is part of the reason why there are people out there who um, who recommend that we make sure that we don't find ourselves basically being um falling for what what is accurate technically an, an accurate statement but not quite 100 percent genuine in fact it borders on being disingenuous you see the statement there where it says that the johnson and johnson vaccine they said it's only 75 percent 74 75 percent effective so they're trying to make sure that people understand that it's it's so-called not quite as effective as the Pfizer and the Moderna, but they want you to now feel good about taking it. So they're, now they present the strongest positive about this vaccine as a, um, almost as a way of, of trying to build up your confidence that it's not as bad as it seems. Whereas really this is the the thing that they should be talking about more than anything. And the reason why they're not talking about what you're looking at on the screen right now, I hope you see it on the screen. The reason they're not leading with this information and only talking about this is because it would give the impression that the others, it would be exposing the deficiency in the other vaccines, if that makes any sense. Notice it says it's 100% effective in keeping people alive and out of the hospital. Now to the average person that sounds like, oh, Okay, if I take this, at least I won't go to the hospital. I'll stay alive from COVID-19. What they're saying is this vaccine has not killed anyone and the vaccine itself has not put anyone in the hospital. And early on, they were saying that outright, but they've twisted and and adjusted how they're commenting on the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. So I'm going to leave that for now, and maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get a chance to get back to some discussion on that. But I, I wanted you just to kind of have an idea of what what's being said about the Johnson and Johnson uh, vaccine. No one, according to the reports and the clinical studies that they did on, I think they did it on 50,000 people. I, I believe I heard one report say. No one went to the hospital after taking the vaccine. No one died after taking the vaccine. Again, what does that imply about the others? Well, you don't even have to check for the implication on the others because as of today, today, I went and checked it, almost a thousand people have died in connection with one of the other vaccines. Now keep in mind, Keep in mind, 70 million people have taken it. So that's a lot of people that have taken it and only a tiny percentage of people who've actually died from it. They are saying that the the number of reports to the um, adverse reaction system is a tiny fraction of the reality. So we really don't know if the number is higher or whatever the case, but we do know that there are some severe adverse reactions for some people to the vaccines. A lot of people that are coming out of it, that's just fine. Either way, the decision is up to each individual as to what they will do, as to which vaccine they will take or whether they'll take a vaccine or or not. You know, right now um, they're, they're trying to get to herd immunity. And based on that news report, you can see that they're really trying a nice 
strong PR campaign. They're, they're pushing a campaign all over the place. It's all over the airways now that they're wanting to convince the general public and especially into the under underserved communities, the uh, black and brown communities are really trying to get the information there because uh, there tends to be a high level of distrust among uh, African-American uh, communities, which stems back to the Tuskegee, uh, Tuskegee uh, uh, experiments that the government performed. So they're trying to help people to understand, oh no, this is safe, go for it, do, you know, it's, it's okay to take it. But uh, my encouragement is educate yourself on it. Make sure that you know um, what the possible uh, outcome would be. It's a fool that does anything. I, I don't care what it is, whether it's a, a, a vitamin to you know, open heart surgery that does not educate yourself on what the procedure is and what the potential downside is for anything. You know, the, there's a potential downside to, um, and, and to, be, to be fair and to be honest, um, if you take uh, albuterol, I don't know if there's any asthmatics uh, on the call uh, today, Okay, so there's a few. If you look at the uh, side effects of albuterol, right, one of the potential side effects is death. And they put it in writing, so there's no confusion about it. You can die from albuterol, and it's a common uh, drug. So there's, you know, it may be listed as a potential side effect on a lot of medications. So I'm not, you know, trying to tell you that it's uniquely something connected to the vaccine for, um, for the uh, coronavirus. So let's, I'm trying to put that in the right context for you. So I'm not anti-vaccine. Uh, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical, but I am pro-information and pro-knowledge. Inform yourself. Make sure you're informed about what, it, what, what your options are and choose wisely. Now, what I do recommend highly, no matter what you choose to do, is uh, make sure your immune system is working in your favor. See, the way that these vaccines work, especially the mRNA ones, the way they work is they use your cell uh, as a manufacturing plant. It's not truly a vaccine, not the way that the word vaccine, that we understand a vaccine. A vaccine is, from, from what we understand, if you take the flu shot, for example, they deliver a tiny bit of the flu in your system so that your immune system builds up antibodies. If you take the polio uh, vaccine, they administer a tiny, deliver a tiny bit of um, harmless polio into your system so your immune system builds up antibodies to it. You take uh, the measles vaccine, they deliver a tiny bit of the measles to your system so that your body builds up an antibody to it. That's not the way the mRNA uh, vaccines work. It's not the way it works. So don't, don't think that you're being delivered a tiny amount of coke coronavirus so your body builds up an immune immunity to it. The reason it doesn't work is because that won't work. People who've been exposed to COVID-19 don't suddenly build up antibodies to it and can't get infected again. It, it doesn't work that way. This virus is vicious. It's something it, no different than a person who's received, uh, who's been exposed to HIV, for example. If you've been exposed to HIV and end up being so-called cured of it, you can become exposed to HIV all over again. Your body doesn't suddenly become immune to HIV. It's a virus. It's something that's a, it's a different animal, you know, altogether. It doesn't behave the way the, the flu, you know, uh, would behave or the way measles would behave or polio would behave. The way the vaccine works is it delivers a component, maybe something from the little spikes on the, uh, the vaccine into your system, delivers it into your cells so that your cell starts to manufacture an antibody against that protein. And in theory, now your immune system will go out and attack anything that looks like that. The problem is, is that some parts of your body can also mimic things like that. So the immune system can become very confused. Now, that leads to another discussion that um, I want you to see. I'm only gonna show you briefly this one screenshot. And again, this is all just to pass on information to you. And again, I'm, I'm not trying to, uh, to scare anybody or, or cause you to be you know, worried that, okay, well, you know, what are my options? What can I do? Or should I not do this or that? Uh, hold on. See if this screen is gonna come up properly. 
Okay. You're looking at a screen there that says uh, Mercola on the top of it, right? Yes. Okay, let me see if um Okay. As soon as I hit legacy in this company, I'm going to buy a, a, a seriously robust computer, folks. So that's you now know that that's um that's in the works. Okay. Um are you looking at a screen now that where the address line says uh, Mayo Clinic? Mm, not yet. Let's see. It says long term effects, COVID 19 coronavirus, long term effect. Perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. They call these people, this is something, as you can see from one expression in the second paragraph, long haulers. So, what they're saying is people who have been infected by COVID 19. Uh, they're calling them long haulers because even after the so-called infection is gone, the long-term side effects linger. And for a lot of people, there's lingering impact of the virus taking place. Fatigue, shortness of breath, cough, joint pain, uh, chest pain, muscle pain, um, fast and or pounding heartbeat, loss of smell and taste, memory concentration, sleeping problems, rash or hair loss. Now, these next few paragraphs after that video, the video there, I, I need to send you, I'm gonna post the, the link to this particular article in the WhatsApp chat, because I think you guys should read this one. They're, they're measuring long-term damage caused by the virus, including heart disease, lung disease, and brain disease, and also blood clots. This is the person who's, survived the virus. This is someone who's gotten through it okay. There's long-term impacts uh, from the virus. We set the vaccine aside, and now we're just talking about the virus itself and someone who's survived it all by itself. So it, once you read this article, you're going to say to yourself, you know what, I really do need my immune system working uh, well uh, and on my side. And so that's why we believe that the presence of this virus, the emergency approval nature of the vaccines, because you need to understand something. These three vaccines, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, including the AstraZeneca one, are approved for emergency use. They're considering the, the, the condition that we're in right now to be emergency. They are not truly vaccines, but they're authorized for emergency use. What they're doing right now is studying how these vaccines work. So they turn the entire planet into one big petri dish or laboratory where we're all a bunch of uh, lab rats being studied right now. So now, Everyone's got to determine, again, what direction you want to go in. But just recognize that if you're not being proactive and doing something for your health and for your immune system, then we can just accept whatever the consequences will be. But, uh, but this, the consequences of both, anything having to do with COVID-19 is, uh, is very serious. Whereas on the bright side of it, um, the use of micro daily and any form of micronutrient that Dr. Prasad has developed, there's only upsides to it. It's only positive. Now I mentioned in, in the uh, original invitation that I would answer the question about what did Dr. Prasad do? What did he decide to do as far as taking the vaccine or not? Dr. Prasad uh, said, not just to me, but in answer to the question on the corporate call, that he and his family decided to take uh, the vaccine. And the one he got was the Moderna a vaccine, and he only got the first shot. He didn't take the, didn't get the second shot. Um, and his mind, and what he said was, he thought that the long-term consequences of the virus itself was worse than any possible side effects of the vaccine. So that that was his statement. And if you'd like to hear his exact statement, uh, just go back to 
the uh, February, um, the February uh, Ask Dr. Prasad recording on the Engage Global website. And you can hear Dr. Prasad's comment uh, there in that recording. Okay, so go to YouTube and uh, go to the Engage Global um, channel and find the February uh, segment of um, Ask Dr. Prasad. And that, that's where his comment is on the vaccine. So um, that those were his feelings. He said in his case, because of his age group, he and his family felt that that was his best, uh, best option. He did say that anyone else who chooses to take one or not is their choice, all right? So he wasn't trying to influence anybody one way or the other to take it, to take a vaccine or to not take a vaccine. But he did publish a paper that demonstrated five different ways that your body's own immune system can attack and disrupt the activity of a virus, including the SARS virus, because that's what COVID-19 is, is a form of SARS. Five different ways that your body's own immune system can impact this um, uh, any virus activity in it. So uh, that recommendation still stands. Nothing changes there. You can, uh, you can stake your life uh, on that one. Uh, you can go back to part one uh, on, on my channel if you want to find that discussion where we outline specifically uh, those things. So I'm going to stop there and just say that if you want to uh, get the uh, micro daily, just get back with the person who invited you to this discussion and they'll help you, um, they'll help you get access to the, to the product itself. Uh, if you don't know who invited you, then you can always just uh, send me an email. Uh, that's Jonathan at hcstriplea.com, and I'll be happy to, to connect you up with whoever invited you. If I was the one that invited you, then you can go to my website, um, microdaily5g.com. That's actually my wife's website, microdaily5g.com, and you can just um, uh, order the product there. But if you send me an email, we'll make sure that not only can you order the product, but I'll also send you um, free samples uh, of the product uh, as well. Okay, so that's the best way to do it. Uh, the company makes three different, four different um, uh, versions of MicroDaily. That's MicroDaily with CoQ10, which uh, is the original. So that's really MicroDaily original. They all have CoQ10. So MicroDaily original. It's a green bottle. Uh, MicroDaily MTHFR. So if you happen to have a genetic issue where you're not metabolizing things like folic acid, then uh, you might need the MTHFR uh, version of it. Um, and that's uh, almost, that's mostly folks from, uh, from Europe and from Canada uh, would have that uh, potential issue. Then there's the uh, MicroDaily EMF uh, formula. And they start at um, $49.99, $50, $60, $70. Okay, that's the, the prices. Then there's the MicroDaily Plus. These are all the wholesale prices that you get when you have a subscription. MicroDaily Plus has CBD in it which is my all-time favorite. So the original and the MicroDaily Plus are my personal uh, favorites. And that's uh, $100 for the MicroDaily uh, Plus. They also make Hydro, which is the MicroDaily original, but in powder form where you mix it in a bottle of water, you know, like this. And uh, it's $60. You just put it right in a bottle of water and you drink it down and it behaves just like the original formula. And uh, kids love that. Uh, so it's, a, it's an outstanding uh, formula. Okay, so those are the basic prices. We recommend that you get a subscription. Don't, don't just buy, a, don't buy one off. Um, you can always get your money back, you know, for the product. You have a 30 day money back guarantee uh, on the product, but get a subscription to save the money uh, on, um, on the purchase. If it doesn't work for you within the 30 days, the company just refunds you. So you don't lose anything uh, there but it does what it does. There's no question about it. It's got five, seven different patents. One of the patents is for the treatment of diabetes. Another one is for DNA repair from uh, radiation and, um, and several other uh, powerful, powerful patents that would benefit you. Okay, so we'll take a few questions uh, before we wrap up our, our call now. Uh, Imelda, I think was the first hand that was up, so. Uh, Jonathan, are you gonna do the, uh, talk to Derek first? Uh, oh yeah, we want to. We would rather hear, Imelda, we'll get back to you, but we, okay. uh, we, we need to get uh, Derek's story in first. So thank you. Um, okay. 
Um, no Alpha. problem. So let's, Hello, my name. let's add Derek to the to the spotlight. So uh, Derek, Derek is right on, on topic for us. And that was the reason why Alfreda is charged with making sure that we we got his story in because uh, Derek had a run in with uh, with COVID-19. So go ahead, Derek, please tell us your story. Well, my name is Derek Cofield, and I'm a United States Navy veteran. Uh, I have been in a rehabilitation center for over a year now. Uh, I uh, had gotten the first vaccine uh, 24 hours before I actually caught COVID-19. Me and practically my whole unit caught COVID-19 and had to be had to be sequestered, had to be uh, 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 put in, you know, quarantined. Uh, during this time, it really took me down quite a bit. And my sister heard my voice and knew what was going on. And she said, you just wait, I'm going to send you something. So Linda and Alfreda sent me a bag, excuse me, sent me a bag of, of uh, excuse me, sent me a bag of micro daily macro daily and I started taking it and it did do what you're saying it did it did make me feel better and it did make me seem to lessen the uh, effects that I was feeling of the COVID-19 so I take it every day now and I take it religiously uh, uh, two in the morning one in the evening you know I know that a lot of people would say you know don't you know, don't advertise it, but that's, I take it. It really does uh, help me to stay focused to, uh, it helps me to also start to build my body back up, meaning build my mechanisms back up. I've done a little bit of work, you know, on studying it. So I'm, I'm just excited uh, about knowing more about the, the product and being able to tell other people about it. Excellent. So thank you. Okay, thanks for listening. Excellent. Now, um, when you said that you got the, um, you started feeling symptoms of COVID, you got a shot before you came down with, so you got the vaccine before you were, you were tested positive for COVID-19. Is that what you said? I did. Okay, so I you did. were vaccinated, mm -hmm. then, you, then you contracted COVID-19. Yes, and I have taken both vaccinations, both shots. Uh, so maybe about three weeks later, you know, they they gave us the second shot. And when I say they gave us the second shot, we did have a choice. But most people in this rehabilitation center, they want you to take it so that you don't spread COVID to anyone else. Well, I Derek, um, yeah. also, also remember what you told me when I brought you the second bag, you talked to Linda and you stated that you felt like you had COVID again after yes. the second shot. You started having symptoms all over again. I did. They didn't last as long as the first uh, COVID-19 episode, but they did. I did, you know, start feeling the same type symptoms, you know, after the second shot, but they only lasted a couple of days. Well, we got you that micro daily in there really quick, a lot quicker the second yes, time. You yes, you did. And Very I take good. it religiously. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, that, uh, that helps us to understand and speaks directly to the reason why uh, whatever your choice is, whatever mm -hmm. your decision is with regard to micro daily, with regard to the vaccine, you want to add something that's helping your immune system to work in your favor the way that Derek did. So Derek, thank you very much. Uh, well, you're quite welcome. Your story. And uh, we yeah. look forward to hearing from you down the road and hope that you will not be one of those long haulers with those mm -hmm. negative uh, effects. So don't, don't stop taking micro daily because we didn't come up with the, with the expression long haulers. That's something that everyone else is referring to people who had had, had the virus and are dealing with the consequences of the virus down the road, okay? Yes, thank you. Very good, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Alfreda, for making sure that we got uh, Derek's story in.
Uh, Imelda Isley will get your question. And everyone, please just confine your question to your most important question so we can get through them all. We only have okay. a few minutes. <clears throat> uh, you've heard ivermectin. Uh, not familiar with ivermectin. Ivermectin is um, the formula. It's it's for, um, it's not a vaccine, but it's what FLCC is using. And it's very popular now in the Philippines. And I read up on it. It has a Nobel Prize. Um, it was, they've been using it in African continents. And um, they've been using it to combat this um, COVID. Ah, okay. So, so it's a capsule that they take every twenty-one days. But before you take it, you have to see, you have to um, talk to the doctor. And there's this doctor from the Philippines. He reformulated it instead of three milligrams to fifteen milligrams per capsule. So you take it twenty-one in twenty-one days. So the question is, if it's approved or the frontliners are using it. Can we take it? That's a that's a very good question. If you send an email with all the ingredients, um, I'll take a look at it. I'll even ask uh, Dr. Prasad about it. But I will tell you this: frontliners are taking micro daily and getting great results. Put it to you that way. Yeah, yeah. But the F, you've heard FLCC, the Frontliner COVID Critical Care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're the ones that are giving this, and they have. They also listed the different states that have it, but the regular doctor won't prescribe it. It's only in their list that can prescribe it because I don't think it's covered by uh, insurance. So you have to pay probably a lot of money for it. No but doubt. You only, yeah, you only take three gram. Uh, you per capsule if you buy it here, it's only three milligrams. So you have to have three to take. So, uh, so I thought I'll bring that up because um, for our part, uh, we're not planning to do the, the vaccine because of the effects. The doctor, our doctor himself told us what the uh, effects are. If he's not a doctor, he would not have taken it. But he explained to us exactly what you explained. It's a short term that they would help you with that, but the long-term effects is the scary part. That's right. That's exactly yeah. right, uh, Imelda. And yeah. um, many aren't saying it. And um, my wife has been reminding me that to be uh, extremely cautious and, uh, and not scaring everybody to death about, you know, these, uh, these, the vaccines or the, um, uh, the virus itself. But we do need to take it seriously and, uh, yeah. and be thinking in terms of multiple ways of helping our body deal with it because at some point we are all going to become um, exposed yeah. to like COVID-19 and so do something but please uh, Imelda send me an email yes I'll we'll email you that out. information we'll, we'll check it out and if uh, and if it's affordable we'll uh, we'll share the information with uh, with yeah. everybody about how yeah. to do that okay plus um, I have um, a client that took the samples for six days, he she was a she had COVID, and after she took it, um, she didn't have to go to the hospital, but she gained her energy, and now she ordered it. She's gonna get it tomorrow. That's She's it. She's gonna get her. Yeah. So I'm really really happy. Yeah. I've, I've had a number of clients now so far that um, all they've done was uh, was use micro daily, and uh, and they're thrilled with the results. Um, did anybody, did you see the story of the little girl with, um, with uh, autism? Yes, yes. I yeah. sent it to my, one of my friends who has an autistic son. So uh, she came down uh, with the virus and all she did was, uh, was micro daily and, um, and symptoms resolved. Mom just increased the amount that she was giving her. The little child resolved fine. Uh, mom, fine. Uh, anyone who she exposed to just micro daily because uh, wow. she called the paramedics once to uh, to come over to the house. The paramedic said, "Well, if you're not if you're not uh, on the verge of a heart attack, or about to um, uh, uh, stop breathing, we can't take you to the hospital." They literally left her there. So she wow. said, "If she did not have microdaily and natural things on hand, she doesn't know what would have happened to her." So that that family, that mother and daughter combination, 
that's a micro daily story for COVID-19. So. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Imelda. Mm -hmm. Paul Muller, let's uh, get your, um, your question in here. Uh, well, thank you. I just wanted to add to what she just said. That's the question I had about Ivan Mechton and that FLCCC alliance. Um, this Dr. Pierre Corey, uh, he's a pulmonology a pul a doctor. He's a lung doctor. Uh -huh. So he, he went to Congress. He swore that this ivermectin would cure it because it's really a parasitic drug. It, it's been around for decades. It kills parasites. Oh, wow. They, they found that, it, and it's a safe drug. It won an award in 2017. So I would appreciate if you did some research on that and get back to us. Because Absolutely. Ivermectin, I hear remdesivir, you take it through a, a you know, nebulizer and you know, other ones, cortisone, steroids, I hear these things actually stop, from what I, from what I heard, they actually stop the COVID in its tracks. It prevents it from attaching to the cells. So uh, I know you, you know, you probably can uh, tell us more about it, but. Uh, oh no, we'll check it out. We will uh, yeah, definitely check it out. The Michael. Yeah, okay. Definitely we'll Get check it out it. because um, especially if it, if it has a, the ability to, um, to address uh, parasites, we've been actually searching for something that would work also on the parasitic level, you know, in addition to what we're already doing. So thank you very much. I'm, uh, that's two people now. That's great. That's good to hear. Thank you very much. All right. um, let's see here. Uh, Iris, Iris Newton. And uh, Iris, if you turn your camera on, Iris, we'd like to add you to um, to our spotlight here, if you can. Okay, there you are. I'm sorry, I'm in my bedroom. You probably can hardly see me. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Are you able to see me? Well, I'm working on it right now. Oh, the camera went back off. Oh, okay. I did have a question, though. I don't want to slow your, your process up. Um, my husband um, takes a blood thinner mm -hmm. and he has to take it all his life, they say. But um, I want to know, is it safe for him to take micro daily if he's taking this? Absolutely. Absolutely, positively, definitely. Um, there's no contraindications of micro daily with any um, pharmaceutical uh, drug. Uh, oh, micro okay. daily, when it was, uh, when it was, called um, military micronutrient formula, it had to pass the, uh, the military's um, IRB, that was their internal review board, and mm -hmm. they have very stringent um, requirements to get past that. So uh, okay. Dr. Prasad passed the, uh, the IRB a number of times, proving that they would not contraindicate with any uh, pharmaceuticals. So you're safe with that. We would say don't don't use the brain boost because uh, any, the brain boost could potentially you know uh, thin the blood a little bit and we don't want to add to that. So, um, but micro daily itself uh, should be no problem at all. It's just a vitamin. Okay, I just had one more question. Could you give me the information to get the immuno support drug? Again, I asked before, but I lost the information. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, the uh, immune RX. Um, I-M-M-U-N-R-X, Immune R-X, I-M-M-U-N-R-X. And the website that you can buy it from, in fact, uh, well, you can still get it today for up to 25% discount. Um, AmerixBio.com, today's the last day. Amerix, A-M-E-R-X-B-I-O.com. A M. E R X B I O dot com, Americs Bio dot com, and the coupon code is COVID nineteen care, all lowercase, no spaces. COVID nineteen care, and this time I think the COVID is a re is a O, not a zero. I think in that. Oh, case. okay, okay then. Thank you very much. If if the O doesn't work in COVID on that one, change it to a zero. Now you know my little secret, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. That's the coupon code. Anyone who's looking to buy the ImmuneRx, the, the spray or the powder, the deadline for the 25% discount is tonight. And I highly recommend that you jump on that. Yeah, that's a nice discount. Yeah, no, that's considerable. 
But uh, but thank you very much for uh, for your question, uh, Iris. Uh, You're welcome. Enjoying your meeting. Thank you very much. Glad you had to have you with us, Catherine uh, Robinson. <clears throat> I just have a brief testimonial. Oh, great. Okay. I have a daughter that uh, had to go through a surgery. I think I mentioned it to you way back about amelioblastoma. I'm not, and it's a very extensive. They practically cut your throat, take, she had jaw bone taken out, and bone from the leg, nerves, the whole nine yards. Feeding tubes, they told her she's going to be laid up for a while. Everybody took off so they can nurse her. And she's a frontliner anyway. So that was another fear when she went to go have the surgery. You know, she works for the VA. Kept telling her about the high, uh, micro daily. So she did go home. So I hurried up and sent it to her. I just sent the hydro. So the third, the, she took it on a Tuesday. By Thursday, she was on gabapentin, this, that, and the other, feeling horrible much more drainage. Two days she took it. She said she couldn't believe it. She slept good. She was able to get up moving around like if nothing happened. <laughs> but the brown series. She said her husband told her, what is what are you doing? Because she wasn't supposed to be, you got a bone taken out of your leg and your jaw. Her sister called her and said, I'll just ride you around to get in. She lives up on the second floor. She said she couldn't believe it. She got up so fast, she called her and said, I'm ready. And she said she diligently, she just took two packs for those two days. The third day, she was out of the house, went to three stores. She, she said, I'm not sitting in the car. She felt good. And the only thing she saw was her sister looked down and saw her foot was swelling. They got scared and they called the doctor. And the doctor said, don't worry about that because she's up and that fluid is moving. And it's, you know, of course, it's going to go to the weaker legs. So she's supposed to be getting on it. But they told her recovery is going to be a whole year. And not that she's totally recovered, because we're both nurses, so we kind of know certain things that should yeah. happen. And she was shocked. Yeah. So she's supposed <laughs> to be getting on it, and I'm going to try to encourage her. Because she works, just started working for the VA, and she don't have that many weeks. But she said two days. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. She That's said, um, None of them could believe it. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, that's <laughs> wow. We're glad to hear that. Thank you very much for sharing that story, uh, Catherine. That's uh, that's All wonderful. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, Hazel, we're going to have to get with you on, on the next time. We got to shut down. We uh, promised that we were going to be at 45 minutes today. So, um, email me your questions if we didn't get it in this time. So, um, or give me a call, Hazel, and we'll talk about that offline, okay? All right, everyone. So thank you very much for joining us. If you uh, want to get copies of the recordings, um, it'll take a couple days. We edit out, you know, some of the uh, the dead air stuff and um, we'll post it on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jonathan Jones, and you'll be able to get the recording. If there's something here that you feel that you, someone that you know or care about uh, could have benefited uh, from, so we'd be happy to share it. So uh, again, just for the record, um, my name is Jonathan Jones. It's been my pleasure and privilege to have been your host and moderator for this afternoon. Remember that none of the comments have been uh, evaluated uh, or reviewed by the FDA. The information provided here is for educational purposes only. Do not make any claims that any nutritional supplement is a treatment or cure uh, for any disease state. Testimonies that you've heard are purely anecdotal. You do not know the circumstances, clinical or otherwise, surrounding the person's circumstances, results may be atypical. So thank you guys very much for, uh, for joining us. If you want to uh, stick around for our business meeting, we're going to have a brief business meeting. It'll last about uh, half an hour for any that would like to, uh, to, uh, to have a discussion or join us in a discussion about the, the business associated with the company Engage Global. That's where we're going to be focusing our attention, okay? So thank you again, folks, for joining us. <clears throat>